Today I fucked up by accidentally terraforming a beach. Before I get into this, I just want to state that I did not realize it would end up this way and did not want to put anyone at risk. Links to photos and videos at end of post. So I went to the beach today and I guess there was a storm coming or something because the sea was wild and the waves were reaching quite far onto the beach, almost all the way to the dunes. Because of this, a large tide pool began to form. It grew in size very quickly, stretching farther and farther down the beach, and it got so wide that people, my family included, had to move their belongings so they didn't get wet. Seeing this, I thought I might dig a little drain channel to regulate the water level so people wouldn't have to move again. And so it began. It only took a couple of minutes for me to dig a hole that began drawing water from the tide pool. It seemed to be working pretty well at first. I could tell the water level stopped rising, and even started drawing back a bit. I knew the channel I had dug would erode itself into a bigger opening, and began to see this happen, but didn't think much of it at first. After a few minutes, it began to become clear that the channel would not stop getting bigger. It started getting to the point where it was multiple feet wide and had its own current that was so strong that in some places it looked like rapids. I guess it also disturbed the sea creatures because as it got bigger, a ton of crabs started running around the beach, too. At its apex, it reached around 15 feet wide by my estimate, and over 100 feet long, reaching river status. The lifeguards had to stand guard around it so people didn't go in, and even had to move their chair because they were worried that it would get sucked into the river. At this point, I was starting to feel the heat, and seeing people leave the beach en masse, I decided to leave as well. I felt pretty bad because I just wanted to help people and ended up causing a potential safety hazard. My parents stayed for a while and they said it calmed down after a bit and people started playing in it which is cool at least, but I still feel a bit bad. I was also worried there was going to be some sort of legal repercussion, but it seems fine so far. Too long did not read. I tried to drain a tide pool at the beach and it quickly eroded into an entire river covering almost all of the beach in the surrounding area and causing people, and crabs, to evacuate. Also, if people are interested, I'll see if I can post a link to a picture or video. I have a couple I took before I left. Update. The beach is looking fine now. Glad to see it fixed itself lol. I figured it would but I just wanted to check anyways. Also, here's some pictures. And here's some videos. The kid in the orange shorts helped me dig for a minute or so. Beach will recover in less than 24 hours. Don't sweat it. Yay, I want to see the pics or video. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. This you up. My boyfriend and I did this once when we were camping near the coast in winter. We went to bed terrified, thinking we'd accidentally changed the coastline of southwestern Australia. Next morning, couldn't tell anything had happened. 30 years later, we still laugh about how worried we were. Someone understands the true purpose of the Today I Fucked Up subreddit. Great post. Today I fucked up by drinking a whole 24 ounces of prune juice plus a cap of Miralax. I, 23F, have IBS. Have had tummy issues and GERD since I was 9 years old. Currently writing this on the toilet in hot liquid pain. Nowadays if I take my medication all I have to deal with is a few days of constipation once a month. Trigger foods change randomly so I eat what I want when I want, and usually only have about a day of constipation if I take my protocol fast enough when I notice a lack of bowel movements. My protocol is a half cap of Miralax and 4 ounces of prune juice. Clears me out nice and easy. But this time, oh this time. I was backed up today. Noticed it, took my half cap. Drank my four ounces. Nothing. Frank four more Oz. On and on all night. And it finally hit. There's not a solid to be found inside my colon. It's hot shit water. And oh, it burns. I'm on hour one of sitting on the toilet expelling my insides. I may pass away here. Do not do what I did. Give laxatives time to work and it will. Godspeed friends. TLDRI had too many laxatives and may never leave this toilet bowl. As a veteran of several pre-colonoscopy cleanses, petroleum jelly applied to the source of the pain is a must. Spread it on toilet paper and apply liberally. I feel your pain and I truly sympathize. I'm sitting on my toilet experiencing the same thing. I have IBS too, 
Something new set off my bowels today and now I have to figure out what. I had dinner at a friend's house and I'm not sure what all of the ingredients were. The sulfur burps hit shortly after dinner and my insides decided to clean house about 45 minutes ago. Really hope a cure for IBS is found along with anything similar to it. Sounds like absolute hell to live with. Ah, get a small stool to squat instead of sitting normally on the toilet. The burning sensation is caused by the acid coming out. Squatting minimizes the contact with the skin around the anus. That reminds me. My first post was a today I fucked up about drinking a jar of prune juice after eating spicy Chinese food without knowing of the laxative effects at the time. Then going, reverse lava exorcism, into the car. Not a fun time. Race to the crap house by Willie Make It. Illustrated by Betty Don't. Prune juice is a warrior's drink.